goals of therapy in myelofibrosis uh, revolve around patients' presentation. Exactly, what, what are their symptoms? What is uh, compromising their quality of life? In this situation, clearly anemia is um, one item that we need to uh, think about improving, and also improving symptoms of splenomegaly, also improving the symptoms <clears throat> of night sweats that the patient is dealing, dealing with, because these tend to be relatively difficult to um, manage uh, as you, um, uh, evolve with the disease because this is a relentless type of um, problem that patients deal with. And so I think management will be centered around improving the cytopenias, controlling the splenomegaly, and improving the constitutional symptoms. Patients who have low to intermediate risk disease tend to have better survival. I mean, essentially, uh, the IPSS uh, risk categorization um, gave patients who have a zero uh, score, uh, which is considered low risk um, survival, median survival of about 11 years. Uh, so you can contrast that with the high risk disease case that we have talked about, and you can see the tremendous difference. For people who have intermediate one risk myelofibrosis, their median survival is on the order of eight years. So you can see how important it is to actually prognosticate as you make a diagnosis. And importantly, the IPSS is something that we need to utilize at the time of diagnosis, and you cannot really uh, redo it or reutilize it in, in the, say, two or three years later. Myelofibrosis is not a very good disease to have. Taken all together, people with myelofibrosis have a median survival of about six years. Uh, clearly, that's taking into account the low risk and the high risk disease, so that gives you to the six year mark. Um, unfortunately, this is not a very common disease, and in order to be able to um, appreciate the variability from one patient to the next, you need to have a um, reasonable number of patients to kind of gain experience and, and get the flavor of each different case. Uh, but because the disease is not very common, I suspect that that may be one reason why uh, appreciating the, the seriousness of this illness may not necessarily take place.